Alrighty, back again, part 15. Alright, I'm satisfied with what I got now. So, it's solid. Uh, like I said, the inverters are things. So, now I was giving this another thought process was, they left a half inch hole up here. And, you know, I don't know where these Turkish people think, or I don't know if they think. So, here we go. Half inch hole, rain, ice, snow, bird debris, hopefully scary tape scares the birds away when I put more of it on there. Uh, so all that stuff's gonna be sitting down in that shaft. <coughs> so ice and snow, it won't immediately go through, freeze, expand, do whatever, uh, turn it to ice and crack, whatever is down there. But that's the top of the generator shaft. So again, that would just cause rust at the top of the generator shaft. Hopefully it would leak out because the tolerances Tesla test pad were so sloppy that it probably would leak out. So I wouldn't really worry about it too much. But now that I fixed the center shaft and it's very tight tolerances and hammer tight, uh, and there's no flex or play. And I put that threaded rod in there and there's a quarter or 7 16 nut on there with the centering uh, little washers in the center there. So when it pulled down in that cavity, it centered itself. I tightened it up, snugged it, and uh, put tension on it. That's about it. And then I filled that with a silicone. So silicone will keep water and debris from going down there. Now I did doing the test on these and I feel this. I'm like, why does one of them feel like it's, you know, right there like so you hear that little clicking sound and I'm thinking damn I didn't I did double welds on this I put the JB weld here and I did it on the bottom I forgot to do it on this side and that's basically where this thing flexes at so that's where you hear that say it's a little bit better but that one's pretty solid and then this one you hear that little click not so click that's real bad tell you that's vibrating big time okay Something about precision and aerodynamics, I don't know, they sort of go together, but uh, anyway, I gotta fix a few of these. I gotta go back, turn this thing on its side and, and put the weld inside the joint here so it's up to the sleeve on there so it doesn't have any vibration or play in there. One more item, just to say, don't buy Tesla if it sucks. I mean, these things, yeah, it was a somewhat of a good idea, but it really sucks. And one guy replied to me, said he's ready to throw the thing across the room because he couldn't get the bottom ones and the top ones in sync and i said man i hope the god you weighed each individual blade like i said those were uh something like 10 or 15 grams off or 13 grams split from my original video uh weighed each blade marked it and put the counter acting blade across so when you added it up they were equal in weights within a half a gram or so and i did that all the way through the blades uh what a nightmare that was so all these little things add up and it's just time. Like I said, I started this back in, I think it was March 31st, got it 90 days later. Two weeks after that, I got the inverter, which is a piece of shit. These assholes from Tesla sent me this grow watt. Yeah, it says, oh, it needs a modification. Well, they didn't do any modification. They expected me to do it. I'm like, that's a 220 single phase line inverter for Europe. United States, we don't have that. We have two-phase split. Oh, what a disaster. So there it is, Junk Bach. Anybody who wants that grow watt inverter, you know, reach out to me. Uh, pay for the shipping, I'll probably just give it to you. So, uh, no, I'm not kidding about that. You pay for the shipping, I'll ship it. You, know, you can have it. It's I, I, Literally, I cannot do anything with it. These two boxes, I had to fix what the dirt merchants did there in Turkey instead of using the actual factory made hole that was round that pulls the block towards the thing, that's the way it works. I had to drill and grind these with a file to put these through here and feed the wires through here. So they're both modified, they both work. Somebody said don't trust them, they overheat and they cause fires. So probably not looking for that. I'm looking for that SkyMax single inverter grid tied, run this from my tower down and then uh, power put to the grid. So, all right, that's it for now, and uh, going in to have lunch.